On May 25th, 1787, the course of history changed forever. Severe economic troubles and Shays' Rebellion, a series of riots against courthouses due to increased taxes that lasted from August 1786 to February 1787, showed that the government needed a change. Before that, the only thing America had were the Articles of Confederation, which weren't very helpful when America finally got its independence from Great Britain and had to conduct wars and affairs. The United States of America needed a stronger government to overcome more challenging problems. Soon enough, there were riots due to a bad economic crisis and people wanted a change which brought the Constitutional Convention. Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, and John Jay made major contributions to the Constitution by writing the Federalist Papers. John Jay wrote five, James Madison wrote 29, and Alexander Hamilton wrote 51 for a total of 85 papers. The papers were published anonymously under the name Publius. The articles urged people to sanction the Constitution and helped citizens interpret and understand the Constitution. The Constitution laid out an outline for a strong government, but the central government at the time was very weak. So our founding fathers held the Constitutional Convention to stabilize the government. Many founding fathers, such as George Washington, George Mason, and James Madison, were all present at the Constitutional Convention. The topics that were discussed at the convention consisted of representation in Congress, the new executive branch, and slavery rights. George Washington was appointed convention president. The delegates of the Constitutional Convention rejected the Articles of Confederation and created the first written constitution. There were multiple ideas brought up at the Constitution. The Virginia Plan, read by James Madison, and New Jersey Plan, Led by William Patterson, were the two main ideas at the convention. The New Jersey Plan brought the idea of adding the Articles of Confederation and added powers to raise revenue. The plan introduces an idea that only let small states have one vote. The Virginia Plan proposed that there would be a strong national government with three branches, judicial, legislative, and executive. The executive branch carries out and enforces laws. The legislative branch consists of the Senate and House of Representatives. The convention also brought a great idea of checks and balances. The system of checks and balances is important because it ensured that none of the branches could hold more power than another. In conclusion, the Constitutional Convention is an extremely important moment in history. It allowed America to be the country it is today. Important figures at the convention were George Washington, James Madison, and George Mason. They were the people that got the convention. The convention made extremely important changes, the Virginia Plan and the New Jersey Plan, which helped bring the American government to life and included most of the ideas of the Virginia Plan and some of the ideas of the New Jersey Plan. Without these changes, America will probably not have been as, as powerful as it is today. It will crumble due to a bad central government. We think that this is frontier in history because it would have gotten out of hand without the United States of America, such as World War I and World War II.